Hey guys, in one of my earlier vids I told you that I was going to show you how we're building our house with the um, earth bag construction technique. So here it is. Um, walk you through it. You know, they say earth bags, they're not joking, it's really earth bags. Uh, it's a mixture of sand and clay, specifically. You can't just use regular dirts. Um, the reason you use sand and clay is because uh, when you get sand and clay wet and you compact it and then you let it dry, um, it actually makes a uh, very, very hard substance. Um, basically, it's adobe. Um, so what these are is um, polypropylene sacks filled with sand and clay that's moist, and then we pound the living, well, anyway, we pound the crap out of it. <laughs> and um, between each row is um, two lines of barbed wire, and the barbed wire acts like uh, Velcro. If you've ever had barbed wire catch on your clothes, you know what, I, what, that, what that's like. Um, basically, it does the same thing with the, um, with the sacks. So when you're trying to get these sacks off, it's actually pretty difficult. And it gives it tensile strength, you know, lateral strength, so you can't just push these bags and make them slide off. It won't happen. Um, and then later, you end up taking it and you cover it with chicken wire, which I'll show you out there on the retaining wall. We've already started covering it with chicken wire. And then on top of that, you put mortar. So in the end, it ends up looking like stucco. Um, and this is the bathroom. As you can see, we're already to the part where we're gonna put in the upper windowsill. And we're doing the windowsills with um, basically a two by four mold, and then we're filling it with cement. Um, and the difference between the, the official technique and our technique is we're actually um, leaving the mold in place. We're actually leaving the wood there, and it's just gonna you know, put the chicken wire over that and, um, you know, keep going. On the, the official technique, they actually use just uh, regular wood there or um, they have a couple other methods you can use, but I felt that that was probably the easiest way to go. And you get the additional strength of the two by fours um, that stay in there and that gives some tensile strength. And um, then you just keep going up above it. And uh, we actually have these, um, this rebar. This goes, these are th three feet long, so they're going down in through the wall here. So, these windows are not going anywhere. And, um, let's see what else is there. Oh yeah, I was going to show you the, um, the root cellar. So I told you guys that root cellaring was a good idea. Right now it's actually just a place where we're storing tools. Um, but yeah, this is, it's a tiny, tiny root cellar. It's, you know, probably enough for, you know, couple hundred pounds of, of vegetables um, stacked very neatly if you can manage that um, but what's interesting is that even though we haven't gotten it fully covered yet and sealed off and um, you know we haven't put a door on it it's already several degrees cooler when you go inside um, so it's actually already um, pretty well insulated what's interesting about these these bags is they have a um, because it's you know a foot of solid compacted clay it has a, um, a really good R value so um, it's uh, some of the best insulation you can buy um, and we're actually building the house with um, the inner walls being done with it too so instead of having sheetrock um, it's going to be a much more solid inner walls and uh, one of the advantages of that is sound protection you you can go in this room and it will be a lot less likely to hear what's going on outside. And in each of the rooms, like this is the bedroom, um, the bathroom, and the, you know, extra, the door going out to the outside, all the doors, we're gonna use steel external doors to give us a little extra sound protection, a little better insulation. Um, and these are gonna have pretty tall ceilings. You know, we're at, um, I don't know exactly the measurement right there because we had to adjust it due to the fact that we had to change windows. Um, but it's it's pretty tall. It's it's over 11 feet, and um, we're two feet from the roof. So it probably by next week we will be starting to frame the roof, which is exciting. But we're also really tight on money, and so we got to skin slip by the. Uh, on the skin of our teeth. So anyway, that's our um, in-progress earth bag construction. Um, it's a, actually a pretty 
affordable way of building a house because we've got 3,000 polypropylene sacks bulk online um, two years ago for a little over $300. Prices has significantly ri risen since then. Um, last time I checked that same website, um, you couldn't get them any less than um, 500 and something. So, you know, inflation, it is, it is what it is, but still, still uh, pretty affordable. If you have sand and clay on your property, which, you know, if you look around, um, it's a freaking clay mine here. So, for people who are needing to build a house, you don't have much money, and maybe you don't have much um, construction skills, it's a, it's a pretty approachable construction method. Um, so anyway, wish us luck. Talk to you guys later. Bye.